All right, uh, guys. Um, I took the uh, the pump out of the uh, the mower, um, the la the last tech, and this is a uh, PW pump, uh, which is one of our largest ones. It's kind of dirty. It was whining. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to take it apart and see uh, if there's any noticeable wear on it. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a good wash in the parts counter before we even start alright so I'll be back once the part is completely washed alright guys welcome back uh, you can see that it's nice and clean now and so basically what I'm going to do is we're going to start by taking the, the bottom apart here okay and it's still leaking a little fluid but uh, it's, it's not bad it's actually pretty nice now alright let's I'm going to use this as a, as a stand and we're going to take these bolts out here um, and we'll go from there okay let's get some tools So, I cleaned it up like I said I would, and she's pretty clean now. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, I've seen it worse, but it was pretty nasty before. So, we're just going to take the covers off here, so you can see, off of this cover. And from what I can tell on this one, uh, so, looks like it's a 15. And we'll, we'll see what this PW pump looks like. Um, let's see. I'm not gonna take. Oh, let's see. I'll take this off. Well, that's on tight. All right, that's on pretty tight. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's bump up the price shock. Let's bump up the power. I put it on three. So there we go. Nice and easy. a little tight. That's easy. That's it. Oh, that's not tight. Okay, let's see. Let's get a little bigger one and to take that one off right there. I don't know why but that one is fighting us right there. Okay. Okay. All right, we got the big tool. Okay, the big one. And I got it on full beans too, so. There we go. That's easy peasy. Huh? That one came up now. All right. Sometimes you just gotta use the big tools, huh? Okay. All right, and I got that loose. Let's get on with with the top of the pump here and see what that looks like. Easy. We want to make sure that we don't disturb the orientation. So I'm gonna to try to keep everything in the right order as I take it apart, so that. I can get apart. Okay, so let's see how that looks. All right, so there we go. Those surfaces actually, there's some wear right there. Can you see that? There's some definitely wear there. So I'm going to put this back in here in the same way so that there is. But everything else, that fits nice and tight in there. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's a nice tight fit. And that's very smooth in there. That's also very smooth in there. The star, okay, the pump. And then there is a spring and a check ball right there on that side. So we'll make sure, oops, it's easy. We want to make sure we keep that together. Okay. So we're going to go find that spring. Okay. And that spring goes here on the chip bowl, okay? This o-ring goes here and that chip bowl right there is going to come out. And so let's see now. Let's see what the rest of it looks like. Okay. And clean everything. Let's see. These should all be about the same size. 
there shouldn't be any, any difference for these between the bypass and okay there we go okay yep they're all the same size bolts as we thought okay and then let's see so I'm gonna take it off right like that plate and it's very worn. Now there's the plate. Look at the grooves. You can just feel the grooves in that. The pump. Man, that is some serious grooves in there, okay? That has this has some serious grooves. And this is probably why this is whining. And this pump was not this is this one was not doing its job of pumping. See everything else here looks. We think. I think this is all worn down too. But we'll see about that. We'll put this over here. Okay, right here. Let's take a look inside here. At this plate, that's good. Okay, bearings are good. Yeah, that's fine. Those bearing surfaces are fine. And in here, as we move this back and forth, let's see. Yeah. There's only one last place to look, and that's in here. If I can, if I can lift this out of here. Come on. Okay, let's get rid of, let's take this out. Okay, we have to take this spring off so that I can actually move this around a little bit, okay? Let's do that next. Okay, I lifted the swatch plate up and you can tell um, that's got some markings on it here, just for wear, but that's not worn. These deep grooves, I mean, and these are deep grooves. I mean, these are very deep grooves, so at the very least, we're going to have to replace that and probably the pump that goes with it, because I'm pretty sure those are worn too. All of these move fine as far as they go. but. Taking that apart. All right. So I brought a, I brought a pair of pliers out to undo the hook here. Hopefully, I can do this without hurting myself. It shouldn't really be that hard, but you never can't tell. Go over. Come on, there we go. Come on, there we go. Okay, and then because of that, now we should get we should get free motion. There we go. There we go. So now it's moving freely, and we gotta check the other inside here for wear. So I'm gonna pull that out. Actually, just come right out. Everything in there looks okay, even the runners on the bottom look okay. And that's usually very, you know, not usually what's worn out. So I'm going to try to lift this out, lift the bearing back out. Okay. And at the very least, get this one out. Because, okay, I need a little something to get that out. See, I'm gonna pick with a 90, and we can get in here and then just lift that out. I hope, anyways, if I can get under it. Come on. 
Looks like almost. That should come out. There we go. There we go. There's the other half of it. All right, guys. So inside, I just take the little pliers and we pulled it, and it it came out. So we're gonna just pull it out, and we're gonna take a look at it. And I did an oil change, as you know, a while back ago. And look, that's pretty nice. There's no deep grooves. There's no scuffing. So that's fine. And that looks fine too. The receiving end of that looks good. Yeah, those surfaces are good. So that's fine. So those are all fine. You know, by the parts. Uh, obviously, a new... A new pump here and the and the plate here would be the cheaper way to go. I think probably I'd be only about a hundred bucks in um, to that altogether. But having said that, you know, I gotta see if I can locate and then I'll probably about thirty dollars for a new gasket kit for this thing. But like I said, the hard parts here they look okay, you know. There's not that much wear. You can tell right here, look, on this, if I wipe this part clean, there's no grooves or anything there. So that means that oil did its job and it's just, you know, it's just dirty from all of the pieces um, from the wear. But otherwise, that's that's all good. We'll clean, we can clean that up and reuse all that. Um, that's fine. But really, looks like what, what we need is, like I said, the new plates, some gaskets, even the pump looks fine, so that's okay. Um, and then we just need this, the cylinder kit, because the cylinder is worn out at the back. I'm pretty sure that this this cylinder here is worn out. Probably everything in here is fine, but there should be some ridges and stuff right here that probably you can tell that there's little little grooves in here, so it's you know it's gone so gotta find the right part number for this and these pieces don't have any parts so we'll see so what I'll do is I'll, I'll make a follow-up to this video um, once once I decide which way I'm gonna go with this uh, rebuild if I'm going to go with uh, a new one or a a uh, remand this one, okay? So we'll see you then. Take care.